Welcome! In this tutorial you will learn about different options for assigning grades in Moodle. Once you have your gradebook set up, you can start assigning grades to your students. There are two main ways to assign grades in Moodle. First, if you have an activity created inside of your Moodle course, you can assign grades within this activity. For example, in my Moodle course I have an assignment called Essay 1, where the students can go and upload their essays. To grade the uploaded essays, simply go to the assignment and click on the View Submitted Assignments link in the upper right corner. Next, click on the Grade link, choose the grade from the drop-down menu, provide feedback, check the box if you want the system to send an email to a student informing him or her that the assignment has been graded, and click on Save Changes. You can also do quick grading by checking the box for Allow Quick Grading and clicking on the Save Preferences button. When quick grading is enabled, you can select a grade and provide feedback to all students on the same page. All the grades that you enter here will appear in the course gradebook. Another way to assign grades is to do that directly in the course gradebook. For that, go to the Grades in the Administration block and click on the Turn Editing On button in the upper right corner. You can now see that the view has changed and each column has two boxes. The left box is the box where you can enter or modify grades, whereas the right box with a dashed line around it is for entering feedback. If you have a lot of feedback to type in, click on the Edit icon and type in your feedback in the Feedback Text area. All the grade items that refer to activities created inside of Moodle are displayed as blue links. The grade items that have been manually created in the gradebook are displayed in black and are not linked. Note that the final grade includes only the grades that you have entered. If you leave the box empty for a grade item, the gradebook will simply ignore it. Therefore, if some student hasn't submitted an assignment, make sure you put zero and not leave the box empty. In Moodle 195 onwards, you can enter grades over 100% directly in the gradebook. Another innovation is a mouse over tooltip that shows the user and the grade item to which the grade belongs. This is particularly useful when you have a long list of students. When you enter a grade manually in the gradebook for activities created inside of your Moodle course, and those are the ones that are displayed as blue links, the box will change a color to yellowish. This means that the grade cannot be adjusted from within the activity anymore. To undo this, click on the Edit icon, uncheck the overridden box, and click on the Save Changes button. Note that it is extremely important to make sure that you don't enter grades manually for category totals and especially for course total unless you are absolutely sure that you won't add, delete or change the grades in your course anymore. If you enter a grade for course total manually, any subsequent modifications in the gradebook will not be taken into account and the final grade will remain the same. You can also choose how you want the grades to be displayed. Go to the Settings tab and click on the drop-down menu for Grade Display Type. You can choose to display the grades in the gradebook as real numbers, letters or percentage, or as a combination of any of these types. I will choose Letter Percentage, which will display the grades both as letters and as percentages in parentheses. You can also change the number of decimal points, the default setting is 2, and click on the Save Changes button. Now you can see that the grades in my gradebook are displayed as letters and as percentage. If needed, letter grade boundaries can be changed by clicking on the Letters tab, Edit link, checking the box for override side defaults, and making the necessary changes. Grades can also be exported as an Excel spreadsheet or a plain text file. To do that, click on the Export tab, Choose the format in which you want to save and export the gradebook, set the options that you need, and click on Submit. 
On the next page, click on the download button and choose where you want to save the file.